Wood Grill Buffet? Worth it? Let's talk about them and see. Welcome to Bear Facts, where we explore the Smoky Mountains one bear fact at a time. There are many factors that go into whether we visit a place more than once when we are visiting the Smoky Mountains. The three things that we look at when making a decision about a place are value, ease of access, and of course, food. The Wood Grill Buffet is one of those places, at least for us. So in today's video, I'm going to explain what we like about this buffet and why we keep returning. First, I'm going to give a few basic facts about the restaurant, starting with the location. The Wood Grill is off of 441 Parkway in Pigeon Forge. When looking for the restaurant, you'll need to pass the island if coming from Gatlinburg, or you will pass the Titanic if coming from Pigeon Forge. The Hollywood Wax Museum can be seen across the street. The buffet is part of the Western Sizzler franchise, so it isn't locally owned and established. Though the franchise owner might live in the area, either way we can't consider it a local place since it didn't start here and there are others across the country. The very first Wood Grill Buffet restaurant opened in 1997 in Harrisonburg, Virginia. The concept gained popularity for its all-you-can-eat buffet style, offering a wide variety of dishes including grilled meat, seafood, vegetables, salads, and desserts. In 2012, they opened their business in Pigeon Forge. The fact that they serve up a wide variety of basic comfort foods and somewhat reasonably priced make it a popular place for families and people looking for simple foods. So why are they called the Wood Fire Grill? Well, they advertise that the name comes from their distinctive flavor of the food, which is attributed to the wood fire process. On their website, they also say they use a 4,000 pound cooker. The name highlights this unique feature and emphasizes the use of wood grill techniques for their cooking process. Now, I'm not sure how credible this claim is, but we'll get to that later. Now, keep in mind, I'm talking about why we end up going to this place more than once. And that doesn't necessarily mean they're the best place to eat, but rather they fit our needs better for one reason or another. So let's talk about those reasons. First, we consider when revisiting a restaurant, it's availability. When I say availability, I don't just mean location, but to be clear, their location is pretty good. The restaurant is easy to get to, it's right off the parkway. Another bonus is that they have a red light on the corner of the restaurant, making a left-hand turn possible. Something that isn't always easy to do on the parkway. The other good thing about this place is that there's a ton of free parking in the back of the restaurant which is a huge bonus. The final thing that makes accessibility better at this location is because of the size and scale of the establishment. Even during the busiest times, getting in to eat isn't as difficult as some places can be in the area. They can accommodate large groups and small parties with the size of the buffet and how much seating they have. So it's an easier place to get into, making it more accessible. So the next criteria we'll consider when revisiting a restaurant is value. Value is a, is a hard one to quantify as there are so many variables, including budget, personal tastes, and of course, expectations. If you're vacationing with a decent budget and want to enjoy local businesses, then the wood fire, it, it will be the, the last place on your list. Other than the mountain themed decor, there is nothing special or unique about the restaurant. In fact, the only local thing about it are the employees and the location, of course. Otherwise, it's a standard all American buffet style restaurant. The thing is though, this place is not cheap either. However, they offer something that many families and large groups are looking for when going out to eat, variety and convenience, and that's accessibility. The value in going to the wood fire is that they have a wide selection of foods to choose from, as well as food items that will appeal to picky eaters. And though you will pay on average about $25 a person to eat, that still beats Paula Deen's and many of the other places that have similar foods. Paula Deen's is similar in price, but there isn't the variety you can find at the wood grill. There is also the Song and Hearth at the Dollywood Resort, which is a buffet style as well. Once again, you have the same kinds of foods, but much higher prices and less variety. 
which makes wood grill a pretty ideal place for some people. Now, everyone has a different thought on what to include when considering the value of an item. Some consider the price and how much food you get for that price. Some compute price, quality, and quantity. And others look at price, ambiance, service, quality, quantity, and cleanliness. For the sake of our more refined connoisseurs of the fine dining, we will look at that list, uh, though very briefly. If you consider the ambiance to be part of the value, you might not rate Fire Grill super high. They don't offer cloth napkins or beautiful decor or set the tone with live music and entertainment. With that being said, the Wood Fire Grill does have a theme in place. The theme being National Parks in America. In the front of the restaurant are metal sculptures of wildlife you could find in American National Parks, such as a bear, buffalo, and elk. As you enter the restaurant, you'll notice large timber logs propped in the back parking area and wooden chairs to sit in. Inside the large building, you are surrounded by images of impressive national parks, including, of course, the Smoky Mountains. Now, if the decor or the building across the street with a giant gorilla climbing up a fake building doesn't clue you in that you are in a tourist destination, the large store in the front of the restaurant will certainly give it away. Woodfire has a fairly decent sized souvenir shop in the lobby of the restaurant. They have all kinds of things from the Smoky Mountain t-shirts, kids plush toys, signs, stickers, and many other odds and ends that you can pick up before or after you eat. It's surprisingly decent size considering you're at a Western Sizzler chain restaurant. There is no doubt that the ambiance is very cafeteria vibe and not a place to take your date on for a quiet, elegant dinner. But Wood Grill isn't claiming to be a high quality over the top experience. Nope, they're all about the quantity and fried chicken. So if you're looking for a quick, easy, no fuss kind of place, you've hit the jackpot here. Right as you enter the restaurant, the first thing you need to do is pay for your meal. Just so you know, your drinks are not included in the buffet. To be honest, I usually try to save money by bringing my own drink, but that's just me being cheap. There is also the option to add crab legs to your meal. For an additional cost, you will get a small cluster of crab legs with butter. They aren't as fresh or good as if you'd get it at a real seafood place, but if you're in the mood for a little seafood, they will set aside your cravings. After you pay, a host, hostess, will take you to your seat. A wait staff will come and get your ticket and give you silverware and return with your drinks while you're at the bar. There are three main rooms in the restaurant. The first one is the largest room with the giant posters of the different national parks around the tables. And to the right and left are two smaller rooms. The buffet is broken into three sections. The middle has all of the main foods. You'll find a carving station in the center. To the left are the Asian and Mexican selections. The Asian foods include rice, maybe some kind of chicken dish, and maybe a stir fry. The Mexican bar has nachos and ground beef and things to make tacos with. The main bar also has fried chicken, mashed potatoes, corn, collard greens, gravy, bread, and other foods you would call Southern American comfort foods. To the right is another bar, and this is the salad bar. You'll find basic salad dressings and toppings, and you'll also find hot dogs and hamburgers on this end of the bar. To the far left is the ice cream and dessert bar. If the ice cream machine is working or the staff member is serving it, you can make your own sundaes. They usually have cookies, cakes, and some kind of fruit-based dessert. Most of the time, there are sugar-free items as well. The last big thing that many people need to know is how clean is the restaurant? I would say that they're pretty clean for the size and scale of the buffet that they are. I mean, people are people, so there isn't a way to keep the place spotless, but we have been to the fire grill during the busiest times and found the food bar to be a little messy or low on food, but for the most part, they manage to keep the bar filled and clean. And the bathrooms are usually kept up and stocked. That says a lot for a place as busy as this is. So let's sum up what we've talked about and wrap up our video. The basic fact is that for us, going back to the wood fire grill more than once is worth it. Though there isn't anything special about the food, there is a certain level 
of consistency and baseline quality. We do find that we enjoy going because of the simplicity of their foods, quick turnaround and convenience. Everyone has something they like or enjoy and there is variety and they keep the bar stocked and with fresh foods. The price is a little high and I feel that drinks should be included in your buffet, but I don't fault the company for taking advantage of the tourism, especially since it's a tourist town and they know that people are more willing to pay more for something they wouldn't have paid for at home. The overall value for your money is something that can be debated. It's important to remember that you are in a tourist town and the cost of food here is higher. In our experience, the Wood Grill has a wide variety of foods to come by and they are consistent in quality and cleanliness. And though they're not a local chain, they will be better placed for people who have kids and are trying to accommodate a large party or are looking for a quick sit down place to eat. Their location is pretty ideal and you will have access to plenty of free parking. And this is the reason we've been to the Wood Grill Buffet more than once and we'll take friends and family there. For us, it makes sense. I hope this video helps you plan your visit to the Smoky Mountains. Please note that we at Fairfax do not get paid for our videos. You're getting an honest review from our personal experiences. In fact, things change, so please let us know if you learn anything new about and want to share your experiences in the comments. Thanks again for visiting us at Fairfax of the Smoky Mountains. Please click that like button and subscribe to our channel.